Hello everybody, Darkhar17 here for your Naruto Chapter 650 review titled I'll Sleep. Mm hmm, sure you will. This chapter was. Mm, yeah, to be honest. I was like. It was okay. It was okay. Alright. Basically, what happens in this chapter is, at the beginning, the Alliance attacks Obito all at once. They all get their motivation, they all had their talk no jutsu, their motivational speech no jutsu, so hopefully the last one. And now they're actually going to attack with the help of second and the fourth Hokage. Um, hash, it opens up and I started to laugh because I went, Hashirama be wanting to cut trees down. He'd be like, we're going to cut that tree down. With what, another tree? Like, what the... F like, you, you're all about trees, yo. You'd think, like, the last person to want to cut tree down is this guy. You know what I mean? And then it cuts to um, Ob uh, Orochimaru and Hiruzen's mini dialogue. And how Orochimaru, like, I don't know. What, what was even the point of saying, I don't want to partake in this? And then he's like, okay, but you know what? I'll partake in it anyway. I go, what was the point of that? To me, I was like... Okay, whatever. And then he pulls out his snakes and he's like, Psst, go freaking eat that shit and, you know, and then whatever. And then it cuts to Naruto. Well, obviously it cuts to Tsunade padding and like the Tsunade and the like Kuchio Sinojutsu and like they summon Katsuyu and Katsuyu like they're going to use her to heal like the Alliance. So Sakura and Tsunade are going to stay behind and they're going to like use their rejuvenation technique that... Um, to keep healing the alliance um, as much as they can anyway. Then it cuts to Naruto and Sasuke team faggot to fight Obito. Um, <laughs> and it looks like on their first shot that they're doing good with the little team effort thing. But then we realize that Obito stops both their hands like they're nothing. And then his small hands become gigantic hands. And their freaking hands grab them and slam them to the freaking ground. And meanwhile, while this is happening, Kakashi's all like having a mini speech about actually having hope for Obito. Can't Kishi, Kishimoto just come up with a good villain for once? One that's like pure evil and shit? Like, this is why Naruto for me, as soon as Obito became... Um, as soon as Toby was revealed as Obito, the series completely went like this for me. Completely. I had so much, so much hope for Naruto when, like, figuring out who's behind the mask. And Kishi completely ruined it for me. But anyways, let me just finish the summary for now, and we'll get into that later. So anyway, Kakashi gives a mini-speech about how um, Obito... Um, has hope and that he's trying to keep Naruto alive because he wants to find some hope in Naruto that he he wants to find his will of fire and I was like okay will of fire whoop de do you guys and your will of fire that never burns Brandon so after that Naruto and Sasuke they get owned and Obito's all like you guys for the thousandth time I don't know why you guys keep getting up it's you're never gonna win um, this world hates you and he starts bringing up a whole bunch of subjects about why Naruto shouldn't be doing what he's doing and, which is legitimate, I suppose, but whatever. Um, and then Naruto and Sasuke get up all like, shut the hell up, I'm not listening to you. You can tell these guys, they're, they don't care, even if they just got beat. And that's when fusion ha, happens. And they freaking fuse into like Susano, Ju, uh, Susano Kyuri. And I was like, really? <laughs> really? How cheesy can you possibly get? I was, I was actually expecting that last chapter. But it ended up happening, like something different happening. So I was like, I was like, whatever. I, I thought it was going to be too cheesy. And Naruto's all like, my ninja way, yo. My ninja way. I never go back on my ninja way. And I'm like, okay. So basically, I, I wasn't too happy with this chapter. Particularly because there's a couple of reasons. Kaka Obito is bad. The fact that Kakashi brought up 
that there's potentially some hope into bringing Obito. I swear to God, if we bring Obito back, we got There's got to be some form of compensation. Someone has to die in the process, because. To me, if they save Obito at the end of all this, it's going to be like, what was the point of this whole war? People have to die in order to come to this point, in my opinion. And the fact that Neji died is fantastic. I didn't, like, they couldn't, like, they, sh they killed, that was good. But he, you can tell, people wanted Neji to die, and Kishi said, Okay, I'm going to make him die. Ironically, at around the same time where I agreed with my friend to to have, to, that it was necessary that someone in the war would, ha would have to die. Someone important. You know what I mean? And I was disappointed with many things. But anyways, that was previously. Now we're speaking about, excuse me, I don't like that they're trying to find some good in Obito. Obito's fucking cracked. He's evil. He has no good reason to be evil, but it doesn't matter. He's evil, Okay. He has no good reason, like, freaking, it was never freaking explained. It was never explained why and how Rin was like, it was just like, to me it was like, uh, 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 that's it. Kishi didn't go into enough detail about Rin and how she was a spy and all that shit. Like, he didn't go into enough detail about that. And I don't even think Obito knows. And why would Kakashi just fucking tell him? Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't get it. I, like, I really don't. When they were in the dimension, Kakashi, and, like, they, couldn't he have just said, Bitch, uh, hey, Obito, you little cryny, you, you little whiny bitch, listen to me. I have something to tell you. Rin was a spy. Da, 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 da. That's why I killed her, yo. And Obito would have been like, Oh, really? Well, I can go home now. Like, you know, like, wh what is taking so long for this to come up? I'm really, like, I want to know what's taking so long for Kakashi to bring up that Rin was a spy. Apparently, Obito didn't see it. Oh, and he didn't, or he didn't fathom the idea. He just thinks like Akashi. Like I really don't get it. Did Madara wrap his claws around him really that tightly, or his tentacles around him that tightly? I don't, like I don't know. Anyways, Kakashi. Uh, sorry. Now to Naruto and Sasuke's fusion. Ha. Predictable. Pretty predictable. I expected them to fuse. Is it going to do anything? Who knows? I really, really hope these two get destroyed by Obito. Or, like, well, I really hope one of them dies. Sasuke or Naruto? Why? Because, well, if not dies, at least, like, gets KO'd. Like, literally KO'd. Because it would just show, or, like, at least, like, they could both be KO'd or something. And, like, have Kakashi, like... Anyway, it's kind of complex to go into detail about it. I could go into detail about it. You know what? Maybe I just will. Not too much detail. If Obito comes to the good side, I am going to flip my shit. If Obito does not die, I will flip my shit. Because Obito, at this point, has been such an, like... An important, he has been foreshadowed to be the final villain throughout the whole story. Should have, anyway. If he does not die like every previous villain before him, Akatsuki, Kimimaro, Orochimaru, etc., etc., then I don't see the point of him even being a villain. Already, I don't. Already, I don't see him, like, I hate him as a villain. I think he's one of the most the worst villains you can possibly think of. I think it was a half-fast, thought-up idea that Kishi pulled out of his ass one day and said, Oh, look, Obito, you're the new villain. Why? Why, why would he do that? I was so intensely disappointed about that when that happened. Anyway. No comment about that. Naruto's ninja way ending. Couldn't he have said something a little bit more inspirational and not so cliche? I get it. Ninja way. Nindo. Blah, blah, blah. Way of the ninja. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. And by the way, I saw Hashirama 
Where the hell is Madara? Who is he, smoking pot? Is, like, Hashirama keeping him busy? Did he pass him a cigarette? Like, what the frick is going on here? Like, I want to see that fight, too. That fight is vital. Kishi is focusing too much. While I believe I understand why he's focusing on the Obito, Sasuke, Naruto fight. It is the most important fight. But it's not the most interesting fight. I am more interested in seeing Hashirama versus Madara than I am Obito and, um, Obito and so the, the, the gay trio, the gay duo. You know what I mean? Anyway, this chapter was like predictable, dis in my opinion, disappointing. Not too much of a high rating. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, this chapter was a six in my opinion. Borderline, borderline okay. I was disappointed with a lot of stuff. The funniest, the best part of this chapter for me was the joke Hashiram, like the joke I made about Hashiram at the beginning, cutting down the trees. That was like the best part of this chapter. There wasn't really much story development or anything, so I was pretty disappointed. So yeah, 6 on 10. Could have been better, big time. Um, leave, tell me what you guys think. Leave your comments in the description. Leave a like if you could. It would be nice. I would appreciate it. And I guess I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one, guys.